Hi guys. Just thought I would read to you a dream, Adam's latest dream. It's about the, the judgment. And Yahweh's been recording a message, an extremely important message. And part of the message was Obama's leaked taping of his announcement made more than two years ago. It was uploaded in January 2010, where he is announcing the uh, destruction from meteorites all around the globe that has occurred on December 21st, 2012. And it's uh, made with all of the wag the dog, um, hoo-ha, static lines falling in and out, technical problems as he is describing the carnage, if you like, and then the action that the US is kicking in with, uh, with the humanitarian effort from all around the globe, all of the BS. So, listening to Adam's dream, just bear in mind all of the structures that evil has constructed for centuries, and especially these last 60 years, in an attempt to save their own skins and to hell with the rest of us. Here we go. Adam, I had a dream about the judgment last night after I was cut into a million pieces and tortured over and over. And I go, what? <laughs> By the children of the pedophile ring who go through sexual ritual abuse to be grown up as Michelle Obama's and Obama's and Romney's. After literally hours of pain and blood and torture, me and Claudia were separate and I was on the phone with her and the sky turned to a dragon and the world was being taken out by their own structures coming to life. On the phone, I was screaming to Claudia, it's happening. The judgment is happening. She says, finally. Then I say to him, now back to your dream. The evil structures they have built came to life to consume them, is my question. Quite literally, the monstrous buildings looking like monsters came to life and were grabbing people. The people were going nuts and insane, not knowing what to do. At the same time, the dragon of the sky, which looked like it snapped into action from a spell, it's got in brackets, of course not, was diving and breathing fire and basically taking shit out. But my position was that of the Israelis on top of the roof of 9-11 as in perfect sight, with binoculars to see, on the phone with Claudia. And then I ask, and she was calm and cool with her response. Adam continues, yes, as she said over the phone, finally. And then I conclude with, yes, Yah keeps saying, almost over. Now, what is interesting is that today a man was uh, a, a new acquaintance was telling us of a magician on the streets of Sydney and he had never seen a magician do the tricks that this man was doing. What he was describing had the man dismayed and apparently it was broadcast live on national TV as this man seemed to be able to um, move matter, if you like, putting his hand through things and bringing coins out of bottles. He was able to manipulate matter, which of course is what angels are able to do. He talked about the intensity of the man's huge blue eyes and the knowledge that this man had. And we concluded that he is probably an angel. However, in the light of Adam's dream, you see, the prophecy is that people will reap what it is that they have sown. So you can imagine the Jewish synagogues, the synagogues of Satan and their rabbis, the bloodletting, 
Remember, the first part of Adam's dream was the pain and the torture and the blood that went on for hours. That was the first part of the dream. Well, of course, that's what the world has been suffering at the hands of evil men. So the structures that they have built with evil intent will consume them. They'll be taken out by their own evil. And of course, the reference to the dragon in the sky, in the cauldron, the planet, Nibiru, which Yahweh has said all along is his angel. Gabriel, the destroyer, it's referred to as the dragon. It snaps to life, taking out shit. So, we don't have long to go. 